So this is a code editor called Dead Code. As you can see, I try to keep it rather minimalistic. Uh, this is not the final design, of course. So today we're going to look at how to make a command extension for the editor. It's going to be a very simple command that simply inserts a string into the text buffer. So we'll bring down the command console, pressing Control P, Control P, and uh, write new extension, and we'll get a template for that. Uh, let's uh, we'll, extension will always be stored in the extensions module for now. Anyway, we call this uh, D rocks, and uh, most simple way you can make a command is simply by creating a function that will get called. We call this D rocks, and it will insert the string into the buffer called D rocks exclamation mark. And then we'll save the document. And uh, because the buffer, uh, the editor knows about the semantics, it can actually parse the module and it can suggest where to save the project, uh, save the, uh, the file. We save it and then we'll compile it, pressing F7 in this case. So this will compile the entire editor, including the extension itself, and then restart the editor, serializing its state and deserializing it. So we're back. And uh, now, actually, we should have access to the DROX command, and we have. So we can insert that DROX. That's nice. So let's try to add something more. Maybe we want to have it accessible in the menu. Let's do that. Edit rock e. So we save it and we recompile. And there we have it. Edit rock me. D rocks rock me. And we can just try to add, uh, let's say, a shortcut. Shortcut. CGRL plus Q or something, whatever. This is an advisory sh uh, shortcut that you can remap if you would like to. So we can try to see if that'll work. And I'm pressing Control Q Q Q Q Q Q Q. Yay! It seems to work. Cool. Uh, let me quickly show you a bit more uh, semantic knowledge that the editor has. Uh, I'm using Brian Scott's D parser module, which is excellent. And uh, using that, I can do some simple checks like. A so usually wanna you want to disallow the comma uh, expression and uh, if the uh, if and else clause are the same you want to get noticed about that and that is actually checks that are part of the D scanner uh, project that Brian Scott did as well so uh, this should have Check should run in the background, but currently it's just a command. But uh, as you can see, it detects the, the error pretty okay. Oh, there's a error there. Let's run it again. There we go. So, yeah, that's just, uh, that's all for this time. Thank you for watching.